we are on our way to a camping site called Steinheim Camp. It's about 40 kilometers south of Windhoek, the capital city. Uh, so we are on our way today. We will be camping tonight. The, the, the road out of Windhoek leading on to a gravel road and then uh, we will reach the camp. some clouds today but they don't predict any rain today so let's hope it stays that way so I must say it's quite humid so the road we are we are now on B1 this is one of the main um, highways uh, we will be turning on to C26 yeah you can see we are now just coming out of the town limits Academia, that's the area. Seems to be a medical center. This is UNAM, University of Namibia. on our way to Steinham camp where we are camping uh, tonight um, this is our first time to this campsite as well um, so we will see so this is uh, called the Kupferberg landfill this is where all the rubbish from Wintook is uh, dumped and from here you can see all the uh, recycling uh, sorting happening. So this road will eventually become a gravel road. We're going downhill. Uh, this is C26, which is also the which is the same road that we will reach our destination. Uh, it's going to become a, a gravel road, as you can see. As we... There are small uh, farm holdings here. You can see the, uh, the railings for the cattle. So this is a pass as well. Uh, not a very high pass, but uh, it's called the Kupferberg Pass.
ups and downs because it's a pass. You can see we are. Okay, and it's going down and up. The gravel road is maintained by grading, so smoothening it with a grader. Just as a, a tarred road is maintained by filling potholes and retarring. Wow, look at the mountains. Seems to be seems to have rained here. There's some water collecting. 80% of all the roads in Namibia are gravel. So as you can see that this is this, these are quite well maintained and wide gravel roads. Oh look at the mountains. It's quite smooth. I mean, the driving is quite easy. We are driving at 80 kilometers, speed of 80 kilometers an hour. And there's not a lot of loose gravel. So usually some of the gravel roads have a lot of pebbles and loose gravel, which makes it difficult uh, and you cannot drive very fast. So 80 to 100 kilometers uh, you can push uh, on these roads and of course you have to have a good set of tires for the grip and suspension for the bumps. It seems to have rained quite a bit. There's a lot of puddles here and there on the side of the road. on on this road you can actually reach uh, Warfus Bay uh, which is at the coast uh, of Namibia so a lot of people actually take this route which is less busy uh, and shorter from the coast to Vintuk we are in the rainy season but it hasn't really started raining as much so there's a lot of dry grass which is uh, uh, which is prone to uh, cause uh, fire in the grass so they're called the felt fire in the middle there's something burning on the horizon it could be a it could be a fire fire so this is a grader which is uh, which is used to uh, uh, maintain these roads so you can see this is the machine which is smoothing the road so we can drive comfortably he's putting up a road work sign so as, as mentioned earlier this road can take you to the coast office bay through this pass which is a cook for pass 
These are all different uh, uh, lodging and campsites. So 267 kilometers if you carry on straight to Office Bay or you can also go this way. It's 325 kilometers. These are all vehicles which belong to the roadworks. farm we're driving to the campsite so we had a bit of a trouble opening the gate so they had to come and uh, escort us uh, back to the campsite so this is a game farm so obviously there's hunting and, uh, for, for, for the guests as well they have their cattle farming Each of these camps have a name. What are this this campsite is called River Dance. That's probably our campsite. bathroom with a <laughs> no roof so we've been just shown the ropes what is where so this is the kitchen area with water from Bowell so it's drinkable water And then that's the, the surrounding area. It's complete bush. It's a secluded spot. And that's a riverbed that you see behind the trees. There's a, a small pool that you could fill up. So we're busy filling up so that we can cool ourselves. There's a fireplace for later on. There's a barbecue if you want to do a barbecue. And the bathroom. It's an open bathroom with uh, a donkey this is a way to heat the water so there's so it uses wood to heat the water and this is the bathroom with a sink 
sink area. You can see there's no roof. The bathroom with two showers. In the open. So there are two bathrooms that we could use. Similar one over here. This is the donkey which we will later on light to heat the water. So this is our campsite for tonight guys and uh, we will uh, the, the, this is the light looks like a lantern but it's actually an electric light which we will put on later we're setting up camp We are cooking here, so... Setting up a hammock. That's a riverbed, so it's very nice and cool here while the kids are getting ready for a dip. Garam chai, chai garam garam. Video, garam chai, chai garam, masala chai. So now I can sit in life to be the prime minister. What? Prime minister of Pakistan. Ah, but it has to be in a railway station. Railway station. I am making it almost on the job. What are you talking about?
this, especially if you are doing a bush ride or something. It will blind. It will blind the oncoming truck. So that's why it's, that's why I kept it covered. The LED lights are covered normally. I just uncovered it now, and uh, it. it up through through the bush here through the bush here it lights up there see On our way back to Windhoek after visiting Steinheim camp. Windhoek is about 27 kilometers from here. 